What's happening guys? So Nate back here and this video is one that I've been wanting to make for a long time and this is a video and an announcement that some of you guys have been waiting for for a long time. Finally I can say it's here, it's live. Thank you for being patient with me. This stuff's not easy guys. I wish we could have done this six months ago. I wish we could have launched the app with this but the app's almost 10 months old now or nine months old right? and uh, we're just getting the express shipping out for USA. It, it's not even worldwide express shipping, guys. I, it's There's a lot of issues that have to be worked out to make this possible just for the US. So I can say that we're still working on other countries, but the USA is live now. So if any product, any product in the app is gonna be shipped express. And let me tell you what that actually means. And let me tell you the impact and what's changing and all the details, okay? So so any product that you ordered from the app it will either be, now we're adding other products here soon with partner factories, those products are most likely uh, made in the USA. So every product that's being has a USA address that's being shipped to a USA customer is being shipped express, every single one, whether that's from a partner factory or from our factory in China. Okay, let's just make that super clear. Every single product is going to a USA customer is express, period. Not every product is expressed to other countries. So this, this only applies to the USA now. We're working on other countries. I know it's hard. Okay, let's just talk about the USA orders right now. Give you that guys the details. So here's the general, here's a general idea of what we're doing for the orders. We still have the factory in China, okay? We are making and printing and packing the orders in our China factory every day and shipping out every day. Those orders now are not being shipped into the China postal system that get on an airplane and then they go over to the United States and then they get into the normal system and that was the old way. That's called the e-packet, whatever, and that was taking 17 days on average, 20 days, uh, 30 days in some cases, okay? So the new way is we are bulk, we print everything and we put everything in a big box or big bag or whatever and we bulk ship that on a cargo jet, okay? So now we're not using the local or the China Air and we're not using the e packet flights, okay? So we're renting pallet space on a cargo jet and we're shipping that stuff, all of our orders every day on, on a plane, on a jet, okay? That, that jet, you know, you know, is a lot faster. I mean, I can say a lot faster, but technically the actual time in the air is the same, but the whole process is a lot faster. So the old way is like we ship, we put it into the China postal system. It gets delivered, sent to the airport, goes through the customs process, then sits around on a dock, then maybe gets on an airplane, then flies over, then it gets, goes to America, sits around a couple of days, then it goes to the US customs clearances, then it sits around a couple more days, then it gets in, uh, gets to the USPS system, then it sits around a couple more days then it finally gets into the delivery system and that all takes you know the 17 20 days this way is going directly from our factory to the j cargo jet there is no local china uh, postal system then that, that that jet's 24 hours and it's going directly here's here's the fun thing oh we are picking up that order because we, we're paying for the storage space on that jet. So we're going to LAX in the United States or in New York, it depends where most we're like, we're splitting up the orders depending on what part of the country um, for optimization reasons. But so we're meeting when the jet arrives every day, we're meeting that jet at the airport to pick up the orders. And we're clearing the customs for the, our orders in the airplane. So while it's flying over that 24 hour period while it flies from China to America, it, it's clearing customs because we, we're, we did all the paperwork ahead of time. We're, we're taking care of that. So then we pick up the orders and we're not sending those orders directly to a warehouse. We're sending those orders directly into the FedEx system or the DHL network. It depends on the product. So with blankets, if it's a blanket that's being bulk shipped over, we pick it up from the airport, we go, we drop it off at FedEx. If it's a wallet case, a wallet, a watch, it's going into the DHL local. So we're technically not using USPS at all. However, DHL will be DHL Ecom. So I think they use USPS for the actual delivery method. So uh, whatever, it's a little confusing, but let's just 
just say FedEx and DHL, okay? That's a lot faster. What is the delivery times? Well, production still, it's gonna be about three days on the wallets and the watches, okay? And about five days on the blankets. Now, blankets production were slower for the last two months, but we got our new printers. We're getting those uh, set up. We're training people right now. So they're basically, they're set up, but we're training people how, how the process works. That, that's gonna take another week or two just to get everybody in the flow of things. But blankets are gonna have five day or less production, four or five day production. Wallets will have three to four day production. Watches three to four day. Then it gets on the plane, it hops over, and it's, it's really only a one day you know, flight and then we're picking it up directly. It's not sitting around anywhere. That's the great thing. It's not sitting anywhere. And then we're dropping it directly into the pole. So once it hits FedEx for the blankets, right, it's three more days. So we're talking eight days average for the blankets, maybe eight to 10, let's just say eight to 10, which is really, really good with production. That's with production. Now with the wallet cases, they're probably very similar, but I would say closer to 10 days just because FedEx is a lot faster for delivering. FedEx will deliver in two to three days. The DHL e account will deliver in three to four days or three to five days. It just depends on the part of the country and whatever. So, I mean, we're talking about a difference between one and one and two days here mostly, but it's still really good. So the overall eight to 12 days is the express time okay so all products in the US 8 to 12 days 8 to 12 days and that's with production so this is really really good news guys really really good news I'm excited about this because this is what you guys have been waiting for I have been we've been trying to figure out a solution for this that's cost effective that we that we could actually accomplished we've been trying to figure this out for six months and we we tested so many things that you know might work for one order but it just fails when you start, start shipping a lot of orders and we we tested so many different methods for blankets so many different whatever this is the best way this is the most consistent way this is the fastest way and this is the cheapest way it takes a lot of effort to coordinate all these things we're talking about renting cargo space we're talking about having people at the airport picking up because every hour the plane lands right the jet lands Every hour, our pallet of order sits in the airplane, not being picked up. It's so many, it's, it's a lot of money. Every, it's a lot of money per hour that is just sitting there. So we have to be there to pick it up. It's not going to sit there. It's not going to sit around because it's costing us money. So coordinating people to be there every single day uh, to pick up the orders, either in LAX or uh, New York, making sure that those orders are getting dropped in. So all these orders, let me let me say this, all these orders that are getting shipped from our factory are being shipped with the label on it already. So the shipping label is printed in China and is shipped over. And then once it gets into the system, right, the tracking will start working. So the tracking doesn't work for the first day or two, let's just say two days, okay? And then once it hits America, it's scanned in and it, and it works. What else do I wanna tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's really, really good news about that label stuff, right? About the labels. There is no more China letters on the shipping labels. There's no more China address. There's no more China anything. It's all USA uh, return address and we even have the ability, which we're gonna start doing. I think we're gonna start doing it right away, actually. It's gonna be your store name and your store return address, whatever the setting you have inside Shopify. We're just gonna pull it out of Shopify and automatically import it and put it on the, on, on the shipping label. So the customer is gonna see your store and your name and your address, no China, nothing. There'll be no, no there, there will not look like it came from China at all. It will show that it's been shipped from America to an American address. It looks like it's made in America and it's going to have your branding on it. So this is really, really good news for a lot of people. You're going to love that. I know you guys are going to like that. Like I said, I, the express shipping eight to 12, no more China lettering. What else I got on my list? Ship from, it looks like it's shipped from the USA, even though we're bulk shipping from our China, your store name. We're, we're paying and clearing customs for you. So like I said, your customers, doesn't have to worry about ever paying a customs clearance or a custom fee in the US because uh, we're, we're taking care of all that. We're, we are paying the customs fees for all the products. We're clearing the customs. Now, the reason there's customs fees in the, now and not before is because before it, with the e-packet deal, packet, whatever, that agreement they have with the United Postal Service, right? There's no uh, customs on e-packet packages. But now because we're bulk shipping, there's <laughs> there's uh, customs pack, customs fees, which it sucks, but it's, it's worth it. So we're, pay, we're taking care of all those fees. We're paying those fees and your customer doesn't have to deal with that. You don't have to deal with that, which is good news, okay? Now, here's a, one other thing that I, is, I wanna tell you, which is excellent, excellent news. Using this new method, so last year and 
actually not just last year, all this whole entire time where there was a Chinese holiday, like we just had Chinese holiday, October one through seven. We just had, uh, or there's Chinese new year in February where, you know, everything shuts down in China, right? And that affects your stores and that affects everything. I mean, we own the factories, so we don't actually shut down. We just pay our guys a little bit extra to stick around and stay in the factory and continue working. And uh, most of them do, some of them still go home or whatever. Now, last year when we were on Chinese new year, even though we kept the factory open, we were producing orders so that we didn't get behind, the postal service was shut down, right? So the orders were still sitting around. We couldn't actually drop them into the mail system uh, last year. Well, with this new way that we're gonna do it for USA orders, there is no more delays because of Chinese holidays. Our jets that we're renting this cargo space, they're still flying. So we're still keeping our factory open. We're still sending the orders to the US and there's no delays on those. There's no, there's no delay because of Chinese holiday. This is excellent news. That means in February, we don't have to worry about, oh my God, we got a thousand orders a day for 10 days straight with every, or 14 days straight, 14, 14,000 orders behind or whatever. We don't have to worry about that this year. So we've taken care of that problem as well. So everything is continuing to produce and continue to ship during the Chinese holidays, which amazing. It was excellent. So uh, like I already told you, blankets are being, so we bulk ship right on the cargo. It arrives in America. And then once it gets scanned in, it, blankets are FedEx and uh, watches and wallets are uh, DHL Ecom. Okay. So what is the last thing I want to tell you? Yeah. All orders are expressed. Now we're starting this now. All products to the US are. There's no need to publish anything different. There's no need to change anything on your Shopify store. There's no need to choose any express option or upgrade or do anything to your products. Okay, there's nothing you guys gotta do. Everything's automated. We're just making the change today. Okay, so everything should be changed by the time you're watching this video. So there is one caveat to this whole amazing list of things that I gave you, okay? The, dip, the only thing that's changing, we have to increase the prices by $3. And not on all the products, just on the wallets and the watches, okay? Blankets stay the same. The normal phone cases stay the same. The other products we're gonna add in the future won't change, won't whatever. Just $3 increase on wallet cases and watches. That's it, okay? So that's the only thing where it's like, yeah. I mean, if you consider our competitor, they're charging $10 for Express. They're charging $10 for Express. We figured out a way to do it for $3. I want you guys to let that sink in. We figured out a way to do Express for $3. The only thing is you don't get the choice to have Express. It's Express all the way across the board, okay? So the new price for wallets or for wallet cases, which is still one of the most popular products, it was $7.99, now it's $9.99, okay? Before, watches were $16.99, now they're $19.99, okay? So that's the only difference, basically. You're gonna go in the app and you're gonna see the price difference and that's it. Everything else is staying the same and now there's USA Express on all orders and all future products. All products in the US and all future products as well. So USA is Express Haven now, you don't have to worry. This is perfect for the holidays that are coming up because the holidays, what is the October, uh, middle October right now? Now you guys don't have to worry about the cutoff dates and, and worry about getting things to people for Christmas or whatever. I'd say the safe cutoff day for Christmas is gonna be still, well not still, it's gonna be 14 days I think. But before the safe day was like 20. The safe cutoff day was like 20. So you're getting a whole extra week. And I'm gonna tell you based on our test, I, I'm saying 14 days is the cutoff just to be safe, okay guys? But from our test, we've had things delivered with, with production, we've had things delivered in five days. So three days for production and boom, boom, it's delivering in two days after it shows in America. That's fast, that's really, really fast. So when I'm giving these numbers, eight to 12, that's being conservative, okay? I'm just, I wanna, I wanna be honest with you guys. I don't wanna lie to you, say, oh my God, everything's gonna deliver in five to six days, and then it doesn't, and you'll be disappointed with me. But it's possible, some orders will, it depends on which part of the country and where things are, right? Some orders in the US can get delivered that fast. Eight to 12 is a safe number to rely on. I just wanna be honest with everybody and not, like overhype something and say, hey, we're gonna do all this and then it falls and it doesn't actually come out the way I say it. Trying to be upfront or whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, this is exciting. I mean, it's really, really good news, okay? It's really good news. I mean, you guys are gonna like this. I know, I'm hoping that this helps you guys 
you know, build your brands a little bit stronger. You're gonna have reliable shipping times in the US. You're gonna be able to put your brand on the package now. You're gonna have everything else I say. You're not worry about the customer stuff. You're gonna have uh, no more Chinese holiday. You're gonna have, everything is gonna be good. Okay guys, I'm excited about it. Now this is USA only again. I will, I will make another video when I figure stuff out for Canada, Australia, and UK. I can't promise when, but it, we, we are working on it. It's just ridiculously more expensive and I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want to raise prices for that. I want to just leave it the way it is now. This is really good. So I'm trying to figure out a way we can do that without changing anything else, which the only option right now is, is we got to double our volume, <laughs> which is a lot, but we're, we're still trying to figure out if there's some other scenarios or whatever, because I really want to be able to offer something in Canada and in Australia, and at least those places. Uh, but right now, USA is a go. Nothing you guys got to do to change. Just be aware and rock and roll, guys. Hopefully this helps you hit that like button. No, 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 no. Smash that like button, guys. Leave your comments, leave your feedback. I want to hear from you guys, and I will see you on the next video.